Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's do this machine part in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. And to do this, I will use this drawing. So you can take a snapshot if you want to use it. Now coming back to this part, this part is interesting in many ways, but the main focus is this feature. So this feature comes in between these two datum planes with 45 degree angle. So first of all this feature is angular with 21.25 degree and then it is coming in between these two datum plane having 45 degree angle. So we will see how to do this with minimal feature. Now to do this first you go to new, part, solid, assign the name and say ok. So first you create all add material features and then go for remove material feature. Now I will start this part with a revolve feature onto the front datum plane, normal. Now since it is a revolve feature, first you place a datum center line somewhere here. Then first you create a sketch entity as always. So I will create a straight line like this. Now this is this line. Now once you create the first entity, immediately dimension it. So this is 4 and this is 55. Now fit it. Now you just create the rough sketch. So I will start from here. I will go like this. Then this, 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 this and then I will close it. Now this dimension is 40. Then I will go to the dimension and I will add this dimension. Then this dimension. Did this equal constant first. I will place this dimension also, then this dimension. Modify these dimensions. So, this is 35, this is 4, this is 15, and this is 19. So, the sketch is done. Now, I just say OK and OK. So, I have created a fill material. Now the next feature is this feature and this is having this angle 21.25 degree. So to create this feature, first I will create a center axis which will be onto this plane. Then hold the control key and select this datum plane. So you will immediately get a center axis onto the intersection of this plane and this datum plane. Just say OK. Now once this is done, create a datum plane. First you select this center axis and then hold the control key and select this datum plane. So this angle will be 360 minus 21.25. Now say OK. Now select this return plane and go for extrude. Normal. Go for reference. Select the center axis. Now you draw a center line first. Just like this. Then draw one circle. somewhere here. Now this gap is 20 given which is this dimension and the circle dimension is this one R9. So radius 9 this is a circle. So I will just add a radius dimension for this 
this is 9 then one more center line I will draw which is somewhere here then draw the circle just like this mirror it with this center line now the gap between this and this is 20 given then uh, the radius of this is 3.25 so this is 3.25 now go to delete segment and delete these segments carefully then add a round somewhere here then here then here and here right click and make it equal now this radius is radius 4 so your sketch is done now say ok this gap is 11 which is this one now just uncheck this remove material and say ok So this feature is done, now I will create this feature and for this once again I will create a center axis first. But before that I need to create a datum plane. So first I will hide these two datums. Now I will go to the datum plane. First I will select this datum axis and then hold the control key and select this datum plane. Now this angle will be 45 degree, say ok. Now go for center axis, first you select this surface, hold the control key and select this datum plane, say ok. Now you got a center axis here, using this center axis create one more datum plane. So select this datum axis first, hold the control key and select this surface. So now this angle is a 90 degree minus 21.25, say ok. Now I will just select this datum plane and I will go to extrude. Now make it normal, so you can use view normal. To make it normal, now you go for reference, select the center axis and this center axis. Now create a circle just like this. So the circle die is 20 and this gap is again 20, say ok. Now this is 10, remove material, say ok. So all add material features are done, now I will go for remove material feature and for that first I will create a revolve cut. So I will go to revolve onto the front datum plane, normal, datum center line, somewhere here, then go for reference. Select this as a reference, this as a reference, this as a reference and this as a reference. Now draw the section. So I am creating a rough sketch just like this. Now the dimension. So this gap is 2. this is also 2 and this is also 2. So sketch is done, now just say ok. And 
and say ok. Now the next feature is creating a hole here. So the dimension is here dia 14. Now if I switch on my center axis, I do not have any center axis here for this surface. So I will just go back to this feature. I will edit it. I will go inside the sketch. Now here you add datum points onto this location, this location and this location. Say ok. So these datum points will add a center axis onto these three locations. Now using hole, you can create the hole. So first you select this surface, hold the control key and select the center axis. Now the hole die is 14 and depth I will set 2 next and I will say ok. Similarly one more hole onto the same surface, hold the control key and select the center axis. Now this dia is 2.5, depth is 2 next and say ok. Now mirror it using this datum plane and ok. Same way this side. So here you are automatically getting this center axis because this is a complete circle. So go for hole, select the surface first, hold the control key and select the center axis. Now this is dia 12. So make it dia 12, depth is 2 next and say ok. Then one more hole you have here, a patterned hole and for that placement I do not have any center axis here. So once again I will edit this feature, I will go to the sketch, go to normal view and select this datum plane. Now here you first place a sketch center line. Then draw one circle like this. Now this is the pitch circle which is dia 16. So make it 16 and make it construction circle. Now you place a datum point somewhere here. One is enough. Now say ok and ok. So now you are getting a center axis here. Now go for hole, select this surface first, hold the control key and select the center axis. Now this is dia 2.5, so make it 2.5, depth is again 2 next and say ok. Go for pattern, axis pattern, select this center axis, 4 numbers onto 360 degree and say ok. Now the last feature is this hole. So first I will create one hole onto this surface. Now drag this handle to this datum plane. Go to placement, change it to diameter, then drag this handle to this center axis. Now this is the piece circle, so this is 48 and this is 4. Depth is 2 next. Then this angle is 0 and say ok.
now pattern this hole with axis pattern select this center axis four items on to 360 degree and say okay so now this part is completely done now i'll create the section view so there are two different type of sections here one is planar section and another one is offset section and to create that go to view sections inside that select planar and then select front datum plane go to the properties and make it section a and say okay now one more time sections and this time go for offset section go to sketch define select this top surface and say sketch normal now go for reference select this circle this axis this axis now draw the sketch start from here go like this and like this say okay flip the direction make it section b So this is a section B which is a offset section and this is a section A which is a planar section and the part is done So this was the machine part in creo parametric and I hope this video will be helpful Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video thank you